Consider vector A that represents 5 newtons of force with the direction of 30 degrees north of east and vector B that represents 10 newtons of force with direction 30 degrees east of north. Of course, we could get the resultant vectors or the combination of A and B by using the component method. And we'll end up with this. The length of R is, or the magnitude of R is 14.55 newtons and its direction is 50.10 degrees north of east. But let's try using the law of cosines and law of sines to determine the resultant vector of vectors A and B. Consider these two parallel lines and if you try to intersect it with a straight line, if this is theta, then this is also theta. In other words, if for example this is 60 degrees, then this is also 60 degrees. These two angles here are actually called alternate interior angles. Again, when you have two parallel lines and they are intersected by a straight line, then alternate interior angles are equal. So to use law of cosines and law of sines to obtain the resultant vector of vectors A and B, let's try to visualize vector A plus vector B and its resultant vector. So consider this x and y axis. Let's suppose this is vector A, which is 5 newtons, and its angle is 30 degrees. Again, this is vector A. From the arrowhead of vector A, we put the tail end of vector B. So for example, there's a coordinate axis here. We attach a vector B. So again, this is 10 newtons. This 30 degrees east of north is equivalent to obviously 60 degrees north of east. The resultant vector is from the tail end of vector A to the arrowhead of vector B. This is the resultant vector that we are after. Now to get the length or magnitude of the resultant vector, we use the law of cosines. Let me redraw this triangle here to get a clearer picture. So again, this is vector A and vector B and we are after for this resultant vector. Let's assign the angle here that is opposite of the length A with alpha and let's designate the angle here opposite of length B as beta and opposite of the length R here as gamma. Based on this triangle, the law of cosines tells us that the length R is equal to A square plus B square minus 2ab cosine gamma. Now apparently, the gamma here can be calculated using this corner of the triangle here. So remember that this is 30 degrees. Apparently, this is 90 degrees. So this one is based on our argument earlier. If this is 30 degrees, then this is also 30 degrees. They are alternate interior angles. Basically, this tells us that gamma equals 30 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 30 degrees. So we can calculate the length of R. Remember, this is 150 degrees. And this is the same as what we have calculated earlier using the component method. Now, to get the direction or angle of the resultant vector, let's go back to this figure. If this is the resultant vector, then its direction from the x-axis is, let's symbolize it with theta. So, obviously, remember that this corner here is beta. And this one is 30 degrees. So basically, this tells us that theta equals, again, 30 degrees plus this angle here, which is beta. But how do we get beta? So this is where the law of sines comes in. So we get beta by using the law of sines. Again, based on this figure, sine alpha divided by the opposite length of that angle is equal to sine beta divided by b equals sine gamma 
divided by c. Now we can actually use just one equation like for example sine alpha divided by a equals sine beta divided by b or sine beta divided by b equals sine gamma divided by c but since our target variable is beta and we already calculated gamma the value of gamma is 150 remember and c here is actually uh, sorry this is r we already calculated it and it's equal to 14.55 newtons so we already have a value for this and we already have a value for b this is given so we will be using this equation to get beta so that once we get beta we just plug it here then we will get the direction of the resultant vector so using this equation the direction is the same as what we have obtained using the component method earlier Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.